Hello, Emma. Hello, Emma, how are you? Hello. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to send a message. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Enma, how are you today? I was having problems with my computer. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at the first section, which is coming from this section over here. We were looking at, have you ever written a camel? And we were looking at section 5.5. In this section, a conversation will be listed to in order to practice the present perfect and the simple past. Let's listen, please. For a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant? Hi, everyone. A conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. Does anybody have any questions referring to this audio? Emma? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and practice the conversation. Side. All right, so I'm going to be Peter and you're going to be Mandy. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you come, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't, I can't decide. I have you ever eaten um, Moroccan food. Moroccan food. Moroccan food. Moroccan food is uh, basically food from Morocco, right? Morocco okay. is another another country. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Luis. Welcome. Continue. Hello, Susie. Hello, Michael. Go ahead, continue. 
Uh, can you? Uh, no, Emma. Emma, hello. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, yes. Uh, it says, I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Right. Aquí va a I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? I can decide how to ever eat Moroccan food. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand. As a teenager, in age, it's a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Excellent. All right. So now for this activity, guys, what I would like for you to do is I want you to practice the conversation. Any questions? No. Okay. Let's get started. Bueno, veamos. Vamos a practicar la conversación, va. Sí. Es la, ok. ¿Tú la tienes ahí? La voy a buscar ahorita porque estaba en el examen ahorita. Ok. Si quieres te la comparto. Por favor, porque está. Ok. Espérame un segundo que se ha bloqueado esto. Sí. No las he encontrado tú. Venga. Venga. Hello, Dina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. Welcome. You are with, let me see, Carla. Hello, Carla. You are with Dina Contreras. We are looking at section six, 5.6, conversation. Okay. We're looking at this section right here. Actually, I have. Okay. Hello. 
Hello, Carla. Hello. Hola, vamos a practicar la conversación. Vaya, espera. Este. ¿Cuál sección es que vengo entrando? <ríe> Yo también. Es donde está la... Uh, um, la de New Orleans. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Oh, okay, guys, I see that we have a couple of more people that just came in. Right now, what we are doing is working from this section right here, which is section 5.6, conversation. Actually, I have, actually, I have, and you're supposed to be practicing the conversation with Peter and Mandy. Peter and Mandy. All right, one more time. Ready, let's go. Gracias. Yes, of course. Ready. Chao, güey. Comenzamos. Ok. Este, pues, esto comienzo yo. Como quieras. Uh -huh. Ley, how have you been here long? Just a few days, I'm really happy to be here. Ah. Hola. Usted comenzó. <risa> no, usted. O, o comienzo yo. Ya perdí. <risa> ya había empezado. Ok. It's great to see you. Tal, have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, not only for a few minutes. Es la 5.6. Será que la tengo mal. Just no. a fifth day, a uh, fifth day, I'm really happy to be here. Ah. Es esa. Sí. Esa. Vaya. Mm, Hoy sí, y ahora que ya la tengo ahí. Okay. Empiezo. Hola. Oops. Hello. No me escucha. ¿No? ¿Me oye? Ahora sí. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues sí, empieza. Es gran... No, pero es que esta es otra. Ah, bueno, yo tengo otra. Ah, por hoy está toda confundida. I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you... So, when did you say? Shows. Shows a restaurant yet? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. We have several times. Or how about that food? Have you ever... Monday. No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Morocco food? food? No, I haven't. Is it good? 
is delicious. I be have it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. It, I think is a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long do you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, initials two. Oh, well. All right, welcome back, guys. So for this activity, what I would like for you to do is write a conversation, a similar conversation right here in the discussion forum. That's going to be your homework. You're going to write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. But that's going to be your homework. For the next activity in this lesson, participants will learn when to use the present perfect versus the simple past. Listen, please. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. All right. Now, in this section, you're going to give me five examples using the present perfect and the simple past. You can give me three examples with the present perfect and two examples with the simple past. And you're going to write the sentences here in the discussion forum in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Poquito. Uh -huh. Podemos hacer similar, similar a los ejemplos uh -huh. que Similar. <coughs> Esa es la cinco punto cuánto? Uh... 5.8 Have you ever
Castillo. Pero estoy preguntando si alguna vez has visitado San Miguel. Uh -huh. Entonces tú contestas, eh, sí, lo he visitado una vez. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque es más o menos el, el, el cómo se llama, el ejercicio que la el uh -huh. ejemplo que he puesto ahí. Sí. Y hay uno parecido que dice, uh, Have you ever ate in food China? China? Uh -huh. Yeah, I had I ate yesterday. So, sí, sí comí ayer. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este es el, el, cuando estás contestando, contestas en el, en el pasado simple, porque ahí termina. ¿va? Sí. Porque sí, sí, va. Comí ayer. O sea, ya no vas a comer hoy, va. Pues sí, ok. En vamos cambio, a el, en el present perfect, uh -huh. es la pregunta, ¿Has you ever eaten food china? <risa> Are you finished? <risa> no finish. Sí, 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 lo, sí, lo estoy malinterpretando yo. Hola, teacher. Hi, uh, teacher. Hello, what's going on? Tengo, tengo una, un ejemplo. Quería yes. ver si estaba bien. Yes. Eh, have you ever visited, visited San Miguel? Hmm. Present perfect. Present perfect, but yes, I have. I visited once. Once, correct. Once, once. Correct. Once. That is correct. Tenía, tenía that is simple pass. Simple pass, verdad? Que la respuesta es simple pass. That's right. That is correct. Tengo esa también que dice, have you ever go on concert? No está bien. Have you ever gone to a concert? Correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have. I gone last year. I went last year. I said, yeah, simple past. I went. I went last year. Simple past. Last year. That is simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. All right. You're welcome. Gracias. Bueno, entonces, okay. siguiendo con la misma, con la misma forma, uh -huh. no sé si ya tienen una ustedes ahí escrita. Vamos a ver. La otra chica está ahí. Aquí estoy para que se me corta por ratito. Okay. Okay. ¿Tienes otra ahí, Susi? Ahorita, ahorita voy a ver. Ok.
Tengo, have you ever ate in food China? Food China? Food mm -hmm. China? Ah, uh, you said yeah, yeah, Chinese have. food. Chinese food. Uh. Al revés sería. Correct. Y la respuesta siempre es, I went yesterday. I went yesterday, simple past. Okay. ¿Verdad que en el simple pas ahí termina? ¿va? That is correct. En cambio en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? El perfect. Present perfect. Ahí sí hay una continuación, va. Eh, no necesariamente continuación, pero sí conecta con el pasado y el presente. Pero todavía... Todavía se puede dar, pues no, no termina como el... Como el simple como el past, simple. correcto. Ajá. Yes. Ok. Susi. Engma? Ahorita. Ay, quiero saber cómo se hace. Yo pregunto, how you ever live in San Miguel? Así es. Have you ever lived in San Miguel? Perfect. Um, y la respuesta es decir, no hay ni No, I haven't. Oh, no, yes, I have. No, 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 I have. Ah, ok. Ya. Tienes otra, Emma. No, Susi. Emma. Ahorita estoy haciendo. All right, guys, can I have one volunteer so that you can tell me your examples, please? One volunteer so you can tell me your examples, please. Luis, can you share with the class your examples, please? Yes. Uh, have you ever vis visited San Miguel? Have you ever visited San Miguel? Perfect. Visited, 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 visited. Mm -hmm. yes, I have, I visit, visited once. Very good, perfect, okay, thank you. Uh, Dina yeah. Contreras, can you give me one example, please? Dina Contreras, can you share one example, please? Okay. Have you ever cooked spaghetti? Have you ever cooked spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Jess, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Do you have uh, an example with a simple past? Uh, uh, have you ever uh, um, cooking spaghetti? Mm, no. Present continuous. Uh, mm, mm -mm. No. You can say, have you ever cooked spaghetti? Or um, uh, when did you cook spaghetti? Simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, um, time's up. We're going to stop right here. Please continue working on the platform. And tomorrow we will go ahead and move forward on the knowledge check. This activity will be your homework. For example, number one, have you ever sang in a karaoke bar? Do we say have sung, sang, has sang, or have sung? What is the correct one? <clears throat> have sung. Very good. Past participle. So the auxiliary have you ever, and then the verb in the past participle, sung. Excellent. Thank you, Luis. Let's look at number two. Yes, I. Yes, I. I. Has, did, or have. Have sung. Have Very sung. good. Have sung. All right, so this is going to be for homework. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.